Hi everyone, Dr. Remy from Pain Free and Fit and Posture Size. Today we've got a great exercise to help you get your SI or sacroiliac joint back in place. Hope you enjoy. So the sacroiliac joint, where your pelvic bone meets the triangular base of your spine called the sacrum, is a common spot for immobility or hypermobility, meaning too much or too little motion, that oftentimes causes pain. There's a lot of techniques that are going around the internet, such as hip adduction isometrics, where you're pushing your thighs together or outwards, or one thigh up and one thigh down, or even laying on your side and stretching in side posture and trying to mobilize and manipulate the joint. But the problem with all of those is that they're non-specific. They're not addressing your unique malposition or misalignment of your pelvis. And as a result, although they may offer some temporary relief because all of these exercises stimulate mechanoreceptors, nerves that pick up motion that get to your central nervous system faster than pain, they really don't provide any corrective long-term solution to sacroiliac joint instabilities and joint tightness and alignment problems. So you want to try to get to the root cause of what your problem is and avoid those exercises that really in the long run are only strengthening your dysfunction. They're actually inviting more pain back in the long run because they're not bringing your muscles back into balance. Some muscles are going to be weak or inhibited and some muscles are going to be overactive around the hips, the pelvis, and the lower back that is causing your sacroiliac problem. So to begin, let's first identify, based on your hip alignment, what's driving the sacroiliac joint. In this case, one side of the pelvis is going to come backwards and the other side is going to come forwards. If you look at your legs when you sit, we all have this favorite side to turn our legs out on. That's crossing a leg or crossing ankles. The side that you like to cross over, that's in front, is typically going to be the side that when you're standing and walking, the foot is going to flare out. You're going to notice your foot's going to go out to the side more. And that's going to be the side that literally pushes your whole pelvis upwards and causes your pelvis to cock backwards. The other side is going to compensate, and that side is going to what we call flex upwards. So we're going to use this information to try to figure out how we're going to realign and correct our sacroiliac joint. So, if you look at your feet when you sit, just let your legs fall out, you're going to notice one leg falls out more than another. And if you roll your knees inwards, you're going to notice one side feels tighter than another. That's the side we're going to address. In this case, it's going to be my left side. So, the side that doesn't want to roll in or naturally turns out more, we're going to start in a face-down position. And we're going to roll or pigeon-toe that leg inwards, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to hold our tailbone under. That's going to flatten our lower back. It's going to relax our back muscles and let us increase the tension or recruit the glute max, the buttock muscle, more. So as you keep the tail under and the leg turned in, you're going to squeeze that buttock muscle, and you're going to push that leg long through the foot as you raise it up a little bit. As you raise up, you're trying to keep the tail under tension so the lower back doesn't arch. You're going to hold it for three seconds and release it. We're going to do five to ten reps of this, okay? Again, you're keeping tail under tension really strong. You'll feel your abdominals. That'll help recruit your glute max. You're pushing your leg long and you're keeping it pigeon-toed, right? So you're not flaring it out. You're doing the opposite. This is helping to reset the proper muscular tensions in your glute muscles, your hip muscles, your low back muscles, leg muscles that contribute to SI joint dysfunction. Okay, so after a few of those, you're now going to turn over, and the opposite leg that did not turn out, okay, that was straighter, you're going to use that leg, and what we're going to do is, because the pelvis naturally shifts upwards on that side, we're going to keep the glute muscle tight with, again, tail under tension, okay, so we drive the hip bone, the greater trochanter, that hard spot on the side of your hip, we're going to drive that down towards the back of our body, 
as we bend our knee. Okay, you can hold on to that greater trochanter. If you're doing it right, you'll feel tension moving down into your finger, away from my top finger. I'm using a split finger contact. One finger is at the top of that hard bone on the side of my hip, the other finger is on the bottom of that bone. And I want to feel more pressure against my bottom finger as I raise my leg. Again, I have my tail under, and I'm bringing that knee up. Okay, my back is flat because I have tail under tension, just like in the first maneuver. And as I'm doing this, it's helping to reestablish normal glute activity and neuromuscular efficiency of all the muscles surrounding this side of my pelvis. And I'm going up as high as I can comfortable. Again, keeping the back flat, working within a range of motion that's non-painful. On both of these exercises, that's what we want to do. And after five to ten repetitions, we have now created a rebalancing force on the muscles on our lower back and sacroiliac joint, allowing the leg that turned out to turn in a little bit more, allowing that pelvis that was inferior to be brought up to level, and on the right side, the second exercise, the pelvis that was superior, allowing it to be straight. Do this, you can perform this several times a day, you can do it every other day, or when pain arises, it's a great technique to rebalance the muscle forces that contribute to sacroiliac joint pain and get your SI back in place. If you like this type of exercise, we have plenty more healing exercises for all different parts of the body, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments about this or any other exercise, please leave them below. It will be my pleasure to try to answer them. Enjoy.